Okay. <laughs> Alright, camera set up. Uh, my thing is recording for the audio. Okay, let's just let's just go. Alright, camera girl here, and this is vlog number two. It is October, and if you guys watched my first vlog, it was about textbooks, and if you haven't, you should go watch that. Since my last vlog, all I've been doing is school, and then on the weekend, I actually got to go like hang out in my hometown with my besties. Um, I love my besties. I lost my train of thought. This is what happens when you're friends with people and you guys do stupid things, or maybe they're just stupid. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Like, if my friends are watching this, I'm not calling you stupid. Okay, I am, but like, it's okay because, like, we both hang, we all hang together and we're all stupid sometimes. But, anyways, all right. So, back to the October thing, theme of this video. Um, it's October, you guys. I love October. And I was thinking the other day how, like, how genius is it that during the month of October, we have, like, all these scary TV shows on TV. And I don't know all of them, but I know two that are, like, my absolute favorite. Watch them every single week when they are aired. And you know what it is. The two shows that I'm talking about are The Walking Dead and American Horror Story Coven. Wow. First, let's talk about The Walking Dead. All right, so I'm gonna give you like a few seconds to like leave this video if you haven't, if you are not caught up with The Walking Dead and if you're not caught up with American Horror Story Coven. Like, I don't wanna spoil anything, so if you have not seen or are caught up with that, stop watching this video. Like, I will give you like a few seconds to like exit out of this. Five seconds. Time is up. Okay. So, Walking Dead. Um, Alright, so season three ended. Spoiler alert for the ending of season three right now. Why is the governor still alive? Why? This fool needs, I'm sorry, this fool needs to die. Like, he needed to die in season three. Like, what the heck? This fool is running around, who knows where, doing who knows what, with who knows who. I'm very sorry he lost his little minion that was like his little secretary helper, I'm sorry. But like, what is the governor gonna do now that he doesn't have his little like puppets? Like, I'm kinda curious, you know. It'll be interesting to see. And I was sad when Merle died. Merle's not my favorite character. But like, come on, it was still pretty sad to see him go. I think, I was like, whoa, no way, like, Merle's dying? <gasps> and then, then they show a screenshot of Daryl's face. And like, I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I got teary-eyed. Like, I know that's kind of lame, but like, when I saw Daryl's face, as he saw that his brother was dead, I was just like, no, Daryl, like, no, it's okay, I'm so sorry, like, I just want to give you a big hug because I love you, Daryl. What? Okay, anyways, um, <laughs> all right, so, ironically, like, I'm just gonna go off on a little, like, segment here. Today, I am wearing my Caution Zombies Ahead bracelet, it's yellow with, like, black writing, and I'm wearing my AMC Walking Dead, and it says, if Daryl dies, we riot, and that's a bracelet, it's got blood on it, it's got, like, zombie hands, and it glows in the dark, and it's got blood, and I love it. And then, like, my favorite shirt, my favorite shirt, and I wore this in my other video that I did, the zombie gift box, gift idea. If you haven't watched that, go watch that, because it's freaking cool, alright? Um, my favorite shirt is... I love this shirt, you guys. Mrs. Daryl Dixon, and it has a bloody heart on it with an arrow through it. Okay, sorry, I'm just being weird. All right, so, yeah, mostly I was upset that Merle died because I saw Daryl's reaction to it, and we all love Daryl because he's just a badass. He's, like, really cool. Um, okay, and then, like, him and Carol, like, it's very subtle, but, like, they kind of have a little bit of something. Like, is that just me? Or is there like a little something there? Just saying. Just saying. All right. Now that they decided like, hey, let's let the governor like wreak havoc somewhere else. Um, we have like a new villain, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. When they found 
rats, the bodies of them, right next to the fence as they were trying to keep the fence from like toppling over from the walkers. Someone is feeding those to the walkers, obviously. That is the new villain. And at the end of the episode, I don't know her name and I don't know the guy's name, but she's the girl that was sick and she was burned, like gasoline was thrown on her and then like she obviously burned to death. And the guy found her body. He was like gonna take her flowers and everything and he finds her dead and like that was kind of devastating. Like wow, who would do that? It's the same person, <laughs> I'm just saying, it's gotta be the same person who was feeding the rats to the walkers to make the fence fall. If it wasn't the exact same person, it was like the accomplice to that person or something. But yeah. It looks like Glenn and Maggie's relationship has definitely gotten stronger or it's grown, whatever you want to call it. That's pretty interesting. Oh, oh my gosh. One thing I saw that was kind of like, whoa, what was that about was Michonne. All right. When Michonne is handed Jude or Judith, um, she didn't want to take Judith. Like she just didn't. And then after when Judith like spits up, I forget her name, but when Judith spits up on the blonde girl, um, Michonne holds Judith and then she starts crying and the blonde girl comes back after she's done wiping off like the spit off spit up on her shirt and she sees Michonne crying like what was that about you guys like I have a theory Michonne had a kid or kids and they died and this was either before the zombie apocalypse or after the zombie apocalypse and maybe they got eaten or bitten or scratched by walkers I don't know just saying just saying American Horror Story Coven. That is the second show I am in love with right now. Um, I saw previews for it and I was like, what the heck is that? Like, that looks kind of creepy. It looks kind of cool. I ended up watching the premiere and I was like, oh, like, I liked it. But I think my first reaction was like, it's very graphic. Like, some of the things that were on American Horror Story Coven, I was just like, I did not know they could show this on TV. I was just like, wow. I don't know. I really like that show. It's really cool. It's kind of graphic. That's like probably the most graphic thing I've ever watched on television. Um, and The Walking Dead doesn't bother me so much as like the graphicness that happens in American Horror Story Coven. Wow. Okay, so my favorite character from that is Queenie. <laughs> she is the sassy African American girl and she is like a human voodoo doll. Oh my gosh, the madness and the sass. Oh my god, I love it. I love how she's like, she gets mad, she'll just do something to herself and it affects someone else. Like, I forget her name, but like the celebrity girl who's like, I'm a celebrity, and then like, she was with the frat guys in the first episode and like, all that madness. Like, I just love how them two go back and forth and it's crazy. Like, in the last episode when Queenie was like, mad because like, the guy was like, you didn't put enough chicken pieces in my like, chicken box. And then she's like, yes I did, I counted them, this and that. And she's like, I am the manager. She's like, she gave him some like, sass. Like, wow. And then he got all mad and she's like, I'm gonna stick my arm in some like, really hot grease. And like, Whoa, his arm was blistering. That was so disgusting. But I was just like, my first thought was, whoa, that's gross. And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. How did they do that? Like, how did they get his arm? Because they had a shot of it where you actually saw his arm. It was bubbling and festering and it was really like graphic and it was, it looked pretty real. I was just like, I couldn't even focus. Like after I saw that, I was just like, pondering for like the rest of the night how the heck did they do that special effect like i mean okay yeah green screen but like what what else i mean wow it just really got to me i was just like i don't know how they did that and then it'll be interesting to see how they brought in that other witch who was burned alive and she has like the gift of like resurgence and all that it'll be interesting to see what happens with her now that she's in the mix and then frat guy that they sewed back together like wow i'm just really curious to see like what happens with that but i don't know we'll see i think it's really great that they have these scary things on tv and it's october like mm, keep watching my channel and we should totally have discussions about american horror story and the walking dead because those shows are like amazing amazing all right well, I'll see you guys in my next vlog, and stick around. Go see my other videos if you haven't seen them already. Bye, guys, and happy Halloween.